Good. Hi, everyone. Thank you for, for joining us. As Elizabeth said, this is the third installment of our Live from Africa series. And as you're all well aware, we have Mwiga Mambo here um, joining us in our living rooms and spare guest bedrooms and kitchens. Um, today from the shops of Lake Tanganyika in Tanzania um, to bring his home, Greystoke Mahali, here to us. Um, so for everyone also joining today who's contributed towards our fundraising campaign, Thank you so much. Um, we're up to, to $5,000 of our $20,000 goal and there's still so much more to go. So really big thank you. Um, it's really encouraging to see everyone's support. Uh, of course, you know, the, the series is free for all. So please, you know, continue to, to join us. Um, and, but remember that, you know, if you want to donate, that's wonderful. And, and we're going to match your donation up to $150 um, towards your next trip. So Hopefully this is giving everyone some good ideas about where they might want to go next. Um, Nomad also, who runs the Greystoke Mahali Camp, is deeply involved in a handful of extraordinary projects around Tanzania. So please let us know if you'd like to learn more about the work of the Nomad Trust, and we can put you directly in touch with their team, or you know, specifically with the villages surrounding Greystoke Mahali, um, and just being in touch with Mika. We can, we can certainly work, work on that through Nomad. Um, for those of you who don't know me, um, no, I'm not actually Elizabeth Gordon. Um, obviously, Elizabeth was the one sort of letting everyone in and saying hi at the start. My name is Jamie Marotra, and I'm the head of our sales team here at EJ. Um, but I wanted to take the reins today because I've been lucky enough to actually make it out to Mahali, and it's, it's one of my absolute favorite experiences in Africa. Um, everyone remembers our first safari. Mine was in Tanzania, um, actually, and and not, not to grace joke, but it was a place that I knew that I had to get back to. It was just, it's, it's the most wild and beautiful remote corner of the country, probably of Africa. It's just the crystal clear waters, the beautiful beach. It's all out of a fairy tale. And then when you add the chimpanzees and, and the opportunity to interact with these incredible creatures and seeing them in the wild, it's just absolutely unlike anything else. Um, and a big part of that is, is Mwiga and the guiding team at Nomad, really bringing the stories of the chimpanzees to life, um, interpreting their interactions, just storytelling. I mean, it's the, the stories of the M group are straight out of a soap opera. Um, so it's all very much right in my alley. Um, anyway, I just you know wanted to say thank you to everyone for joining us today on, on Sunday and Memorial Day and, um, and giving us your time and attention. So with that, I will leave Mwiga to do what he does best um, and tell us some stories and, and talk about Greystoke. Um, but just as a reminder, obviously everyone is muted. Um, if you have a question at any point, just you know, type it in the chat box and we'll kind of be, be peppering in, in those questions throughout his presentation and afterwards. So um, we'll make sure that he addresses everyone. So please ask tons of questions. And with that, I will leave it to Mwiga to take it away. We got Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. As Jenny uh, introduced to me, uh, my name is Mwige Mambo, one of the nomad guides from the western side of Tanzania, Greystock Mahale. Uh, Greystock Mahale is at uh, Kigoma region. It's along the shore, um, uh, shore of the Lake Tanganyika. So, which is a very famous lake. Um, lake Tanganyika has, uh, um, is the longest lake in the world and, uh, and the deepest, second deepest lake in the world. So, um, can everyone my, uh, see this? Can everyone see my, the presentation or no, the PowerPoint? The image? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can see the image, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, um, my life, I was born in Kigoma town, but I grew up both sides in Kigoma and the Mahale National Park because this is a family business. Um, what, who inspired me to be working at a great stock and uh, also for the chimps um, is my dad, my uncles, uh, the one who show the way the Japanese research to, from Kigoma town to, uh, to Mahale, because uh, they heard about Jane Goodo, uh, Jane Goro at the Gombe, because Jane Goro, she was there in uh, 1960. And then uh, they went there, they found already uh, Jane Goro, she owned that area. And then Jane Goro said, hey, you guys go find yours, 
this is my chimpanzees. They didn't know where to go. And then they came back to Kigoma Town, uh, was 1964. And then they encountered with my dad and my uncle. And then they started to lead the way uh, from Kigoma Town to Karago Village and then Karago Village to Mkuyu. They started their project there, uh, Mkuyu Village. And then my daddy told them, let's we go to Kasoje. And then Kasoje is a Mahale. Uh, and then uh, Junichiro Itan on that time, he was a reader of Kyoto University. And then he loved that place, Mahale. And then uh, he went to Japan and then corrected Professor Nishida. And then Professor Nishida started to habituate uh, these chimpanzees uh, 1965. And then uh, the story from my dad and my uncle, ha, honestly, I was doubt first when I heard about uh, the chimpanzee that got a politicians. And then I said, no, no way, chimpanzee got a politicians. And they are very close, living relative with us. I said, ah, oh, no way, no way. And then uh, my uncle gave me a lot of story. And then I said, oh my God, I should work. I should work in Mahale. And then I do encounter with the chimpanzees since I was little. Um, and then uh, the fun thing is when the chimpanzees come to, to the camp, where is my, my uncle was, and then they lock us inside. And I said, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Guys, maybe chimpanzees are taking us, they're locking us inside, and then we look <laughs> chimpanzees from the window. <laughs> and then, uh, was uh, 1996, uh, nobody they were looking for the waiter, and then uh, I had a chance to apply the job uh, at uh, Greystock, and then uh. They gave me a job as a waiter. On that time, we were few staff, it was eight, eight of us. So we have to work more than you know, one job, uh, like a different department. So by my, my main work was waiter. So oh, after that, I begging, uh, begging the, my boss, like, I want to go to do chimp trekking. They said, Inwiga, you're doing well at waiter. Roland Purcell and his wife, Zoe Purcell, they were liable <clears throat> to be continuous uh, as a waiter. And then I said, no, because I really love the chimpanzees to be honest for my heart. And then they, they agreed to change my position to be a tracker. So I started to tracker for couple of years, like seven years. And then uh, after that, the comment from the guests and uh, the nomad bosses, they see I, I do well from the, um, uh, I do well for explaining for the guests. And then they took me to the English course and then they promoted me to be a guide in 2011. So up to now, I'm an ambassador. So I'm so happy to be ambassador of the Chimpanzee is my cousin. I'm always saying that the chimpanzee is my cousin because uh, we do share with them 98.6 of our genetic materials. So I really love them. So, Greystock. Greystock is really lovely camp because as, as you see on that picture, it's very touching. And then uh, also the camp building by, uh, by a local boat, which is uh, uh, old boat and then in the nomad buy those old boats uh, they're not used anymore and then they're building the camp it's just so beautiful it's open and then overseas for the congo and the lake uh, your dream coming true <laughs> and then <laughs> and then also uh, it's amazing what making mahale to be special uh, mahale to make to be special is Honesty is untouchable uh, forest, although it was a village before, because my grandfather, uh, my grandmother, she was uh, born at a Greystock area on that time before the camp setting, even the, before the national park. And then, but the Tongo people culture, they didn't destroy the nature. 
So they taking, they keep the nature to take the medicine to treat it themselves. So that's why you can see the forest, you look like you see that picture uh, uh, past. So um, um, the Japanese research, they discover uh, there are some areas, there are the chimpanzees, like a Gombe where the Jane Godo, Jane Godo she is, and then uh, uh, Jane Godo she is, and then also uh, Kibali in Uganda, in Congo, there are the chimpanzees, and then also Guinea, Guinea and uh, Fangoli chimpanzees, every coast. And, but for the best experience, and then uh, you have to come to Mahale National Park because there is, a, is the highest population in Africa or in the world. Uh, uh, Elish approximately is a 700 chimpanzees, but there are more than 700 chimpanzees. There are about 1,000 chimpanzees in the national park. Outside, there is a more chimpanzee than in the national park. So uh, uh, what Mahale make a little bit uh, unique, there is some behavior the chimpanzee doing. You can, you can slide next show. <laughs> Next picture, please. <laughs> Can you see, is this the slide you want? No. Nah. The next one. Yeah. All right. Um, so, uh, ah, yeah, sorry. so um, you can see that picture of uh, Mahali High Five. So, can back a little bit? Yeah. Ah, sorry, I'm here. Ah, this is technology. I'm still trying to make it work. <laughs> it will not sit. Ah, there we go. Mahali High Five. Yes. I couldn't see here, but. I can talk about that. Can you see it now? No, but I can talk about that. Okay. Uh, Mahale high five. So this is unique behavior for Mahale chimpanzees. Although Kibali, uh, Kibali chimpanzees, they started to do uh, Mahale high five also. But uh, this is well known for the Mahale unique behavior. So if you see the picture like that, that is Mahale chimpanzees doing that. Um, yeah, and then also the Japanese research, they, are, they discover also there are some of the courtship they do, uh, other places they, they didn't do. For example, tears the leaves. Tears the leaves is a unique behavior for the courtship for Mahale chimpanzees. And then also fishing ants. Other places, the fishing ants from the carpenter, um, from the tarmac mound. But Mahale chimpanzees is a different story. The fishing ants from the uh, carpenter ants, which is living on trees, they drill the hole and then they lay eggs to into the hole of the trees. And then uh, that is so funny to see them, the, uh, the, the, the fishing, those uh, carpenter ants, because uh, when they use, uh, they use the tools, and then the tools, and then more, more ants coming out, if they stop to use the tools, they use their fur. So they brush to the trunk of the trees, and then they eat it. And then uh, if the more coming, they stop to use the uh, tools, they stop to use uh, uh, their fur, they use their tongue, they're licking them. <laughs> it's so funny. And then they can spend much time, like an hour or two hours, if that hollow of trees, they will produce a lot of ants. Yeah. And then, uh, can you slide in another? So is this them eating the ants? Uh, 
Yeah, you can slide another one. There, there, there is the, they're eating the ants. Yeah, that one. So that is uh, well known. This is all Mahali. footage at Mahali, right, Moiga? Yes, that is a footage from Mahali. And then uh, these chimpanzees, they've been habituated now more than 50 years. So they are well, well customer to the people. They don't care about people. So because they used to, although it's a new generation, mostly of those they were habituated at the beginning, they are already gone, except Nkombo. Nkombo, she's still in the community now. She's 50 years. Uh, and then she's gorgeous, mama. Yeah. And then uh, that's as I see on that video. Uh, they are, don't care about human being that they are there. So they just do their thing, even if they do their politicians, because they are politicians, I'm always saying like a Tanzania politician or American politicians, because uh, mostly it's a four years and then they're kicking out the alpha male. And then for the new, uh, for the more election, for the, why I say the Tanzania nation, uh, Tanzania, uh, Tanzania politicians, because uh, Tanzania politicians, they are, they are always, um, they are always, uh oh, I don't know what I do. <laughs> can you not see the I screen? I touch my phone, so. Ah. <laughs> I, I can see, I can see, I can see four of you, <laughs> three of you. <laughs> so uh, I say the Tanzania politician because of the, um, uh, the, the politicians here in our country, they do convince the women first. And then after that, they're going to the, to the popular uh, guy in the city and then they give some money and then uh, in order to, to be on their side. And then if the women, the women agree is they have 80% uh, uh, winning. And then those popular guy, they top up. So even the chimpanzees is the same. So they do, they are really good for convince the female to be on their side. And then after that, they're going to, to convince the number three, four, five in order to kicking out uh, the alpha male. So that's why I said they are politicians like, like uh, Tanzania politicians, yeah. <laughs> And then all American politicians because of four years, they kick out the alpha male. But if you're strong, four years, you're going to be that? like, <laughs> yeah, mostly of alpha male, uh, they stay on a four years, four years and a half. But there is a, one of the alpha male, he was alpha male for 15 years in Tologi since 1979 to 1995, and then uh, he died. And then uh, Primus, the one who uh, they're kicking out last year on December, he was alpha male, upper status for seven years, which is making us also surprised because he was like a dictator. So we were worried for him to be really punishment, but uh, Teddy and Michio, they are very good for, for uh, they welcome him back and then they didn't do anything for him. Uh, but uh, there is a lot, a lot of politician is going on now because Teddy, he want to be alpha male and then Michio, he said, I'm in. So, <laughs> you don't miss this. It's really, really, really amazing thing to say. You can see everyone needed to, to taking his alliance away and then it's like a soap opera. Soap opera, you said so, soap opera. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a soap opera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, soap opera, yeah. <laughs> How long do the chimpanzees live? Um, in the zoo. Oh, we got. Uh-oh, man down. Uh, we're, lo we're, we're looking for Mwiga. Uh, I will put a little video while we're waiting. Um, Mwiga is calling in, so you know, from Mahali area. So 
if you can see how far he is, it's amazing that we actually got him to talk today. <laughs> so please bear with us with the, the technology. We are trying to make this all work. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and just something else interesting, you know, when, when you're at Mahali, it's, it's one of those places that you really do know that, that you're off the grid. There's absolutely, there's no Wi-Fi. There's, you know, if you really have to be in, in touch with someone, you, you have to bring a satellite phone and it's certain times of the day that, it, that it'll work. Um, so it's, it's really out there and, and like I said, one of the most remote and, and wild places. Um, and, you know, we've, we've gotten a couple of questions um, in the chat about Tanzania being open and, and kind of some of some of East Africa with coronavirus. Um, Tanzania is open. They, they just just announced that they're, I think, opening up maybe in, in the next couple of days or they're already open um, with sort of a, a valid coronavirus negative test within within 36 hours of, um, of arrival to the country. But we're still waiting and seeing how coronavirus affects primates. We just, it's something that we don't know. So Tanzania itself um, will be welcoming international guests pretty soon, but we're still still waiting to see a little bit about, you know, Mahali because, you know, the, the chimps are, are the most valuable resource there. So it's a little bit, a little bit different um, because you are getting so up close with them and, and interacting. Um, so it's, it's a wait and see game. Um, and I think I, I addressed in the chat also that Kenya is still closed for the foreseeable future. So we're waiting to, waiting to hear a little bit more about that. Oh, yeah, he's trying to get back in. I'm having a little bit of a hard time. There we go. The net. Okay. So what Mega was just starting to talk a little bit about with, with the soap opera is just sort of the, the political dynamics within the M group. Um, obviously the, the alpha male is, is the head of all the chimpanzees and then just some of the, the, the familial structures and the power structures that kind of flow down from that. Um, and there's just, I mean, listening to Mega talk, you know, you're, you're, for three or four days you just get regaled with tales of just all of all of the Julius Caesar type of dramatics that have happened within this own group of the years. Mwiga, welcome back. I was doing my best. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I will let you let Sorry, you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> because of the that. So um yeah. Um so um, let me talk about that video you show. It's about the, the baby playing. So as I, we, as I said, they're very customer to the people. And then also we share with them 98.6 of our genetic materials. There are some behavior they do definitely is like human being. So like uh, they playing, the kids playing and then also laughing like us and then the, the adults they can relax but the baby never relax as like a human babies so and then also you can see like a different family for example that is the omari and uh, um omari and the figaro they're playing there so it's a different family so this happens for the humans and it happens to the chimpanzees so the one who tired, get tired there, he can say, I had enough. I had enough. I had enough to play with. So the one who likes to continue to play, he may, he may say, ah, I want to play with you. But if he's not strong, they may beating the, he may be beating someone who doesn't like uh, to play with, continues to play with. And then the mama, if it's, she's not smart enough, the baby will cry to, to his mother or her mother like, mama, he's beating me. And then uh, <laughs> mama, if she's not smart enough, she will go to beat the one who beating her baby. And then another mama coming to fighting with that mama, who beating her baby. So and two mother go into the trouble because of their kids. 
So this happens to us also. It's many times, neighbors, our relatives get into the trouble uh, from, from their, uh, because of their kids. So this is really, uh, so this is really, really um, very close to like us, you can say that. And then uh, uh, my favorite chimpanzees, you can slide the next show, uh, is Alofu and Teddy. Why are you choosing those guys? Alofu on the left, and then all this picture is Alofu. Oh, Alofu, and then Alofu is the one who, uh, like, he walked toward uh, Christmas. And then on the left is Alofu himself. So I chose this guy. He's really clever. I never had, I never, never seen the chimpanzee like this. Honest. He's really wise. He has a big heart. That's why I love him. I love him, to be honest. He used to be alpha male. Um, 2000, uh, 2003 to 2007, he stepped down without fighting, which is not normal, honestly. Mostly, they do fighting. But him, Pim took over from him without fighting. Pim, he was really one to fight him with him, but uh, he knew he's weaker. And then uh, also, he don't like many problem. And then uh, he resigned, like, hey, guy, you are the new alpha male, so you are in. And then he stepped back to, do, uh, to, to number two, which is not normal. Apart from that, when he, because they are omnivores, the chimpanzees are omnivores like us. They eat meat, they hunting, a colobus monkey, a small, uh, antelope and birds. They uh, uh, also mouse and then also bush babies. So when they hunting red colobus monkey, they do share. Alofu is the one who really good for sharing uh, the the meat for the others. So which is uh, others male, they are not really good for that. And then also the funny story is is a king of the romantic because uh, <laughs> I never seen the chimpanzees doing like that. Most of the chimpanzees, male, male chimpanzees, they bullying the female. But him, he was really good for romantic. So the female themselves, they know she's a first lady and she's a boss. Without her to move, the group will be hanging that area. And then most of the male, they do force. They bully the female. But Alofu, he's really, used, he's really gentle. He uses a romantic, scratching female on her back. Baby, I want to go. And then they touch her finger, drag a little bit. He's torting while he puff up his fur in order to asking her, hey, I needed to move because the group, they are starving. And then until the female agree, like, oh, okay, I want to go baby now. <laughs> and then I love to say ladies first. <laughs> and then a ladies first, she's go ahead and then I love behind, which is not many, many male of the chimpanzee, they doing romantic like that. Most of them, they bully. Yeah, um, Teddy also, I think is the next slide. Teddy also, uh, she's about the same thing. She's so, that's why we say the poverty is a, is, a, is a sign of Alofu because his character, he's really like Alofu. He's very gentle. He likes to be with the female, with the mama. Uh, a female with their baby, which is uh, not many, many male, they do it like that. So you can see the place Teddy he is, is same like a lofu. We can see most of the female. I can say this guy, although he's really handsome, <laughs> he's a ladies' man. <laughs> so he's really, 
really gentle. So that's why I chose these two is my favorite uh, chimpanzees, to be honest. I love them. Yeah. How long have you known these chimpanzees, Mwiga? How long have you been observing them? Um, as I said, it's, this is a family business. I've been seeing this since I was kids. And then uh, I observed these uh, when I, I joined with the Greystock. And then I do, as I was all, when I was a trucker, uh, when I was a waiter, when we didn't have the guests, I do ask my cousin, he worked with the Japanese research. We spend a whole day on the bush. We follow them. And then we know every chimpanzee has own behavior. And then every chimpanzee has their own characteristics. Some, some of them, they look similar, uh, but they are different, even swagger of work. So I've been like 20 years, I've been observing these chimpanzees. That's why I know them in and out. Do you, do you think they recognize you when they see you? Definitely. Definitely. Because uh, um, this happens, uh, happens uh, three years ago and uh, four years ago. <laughs> and this is uh, funny because uh, I was away for a month for the holiday. And then uh, that day, back to the camp, and then I took the guests, six guests, to, to go to visit. And then uh, Darwin, Darwin is one of the chimpanzees um, looking at me. And then one of the guests asked, Mwiga, why are that chimpanzees looking at you like that? And then I said, you know what? I've been away for a month. So that's why they're kind of like a surprise where I have been. And then what's next? Darwin walked toward me and then he sat in front of me. We're supposed to be uh, distance, 10 meters. And then he came very close to contact. And then I, I told the guest, did you see that now? And then I said, we have to move back to keep the distance. And then when I kept distance, uh, the Darwin make a sound to ask me, don't move. To ask us, don't move. And then I said, we have to move. We move away to keep the distance. We don't like to, them to get in trouble. And then after that, he spent again five minutes. He walked again toward me. He kicked me with his el uh, elbow, a little bit on my, 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 my feet. It's like, hey, what's up? And then after that, he moved a little bit. He kicked me a little bit with his feet, meaning that uh, what's up, very gentle. And then uh, he's kind of like greeting me, like, hey, where have you been, man? And then I was, the guest there was so surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question here from Christina. Um, are there other tools that they use aside from the sticks for ants? Other, yeah, other places they use uh, uh, tools for the ants, but they're fishing for the cup, uh, they're fishing from the tarmac mounds. Um, but at Mahale, they're fishing from the carpenter ants. That is the difference, kacha. And then also, Mahale, they eat soil from the termite mounds, I mean that uh, to get the iron mineral and salt. Same apply like a Eastern African women when they get pregnant. The, because the pregnant tell them what they need. They need iron mineral and salt mineral. Most of them, they eat soil from the termite mounds. The soil, they sell it in the shop. They call in Pemba, not Pemba in Zanzibar, uh -uh. Pemba that soil. They roll like a sausage. And then uh, they're eating. I've been tested that because you won't stop them. When you say, hey, honey, stop to eat that, you get worms. And then they say, okay, baby, I won't eat again. And then she show you, like, she's going to throw them in the dustbin. But later on, she's going to buy another one hiding eating, washing her mouth and her lip, and then putting lip shine you won't know. 
So, yeah, other places they uh, they they use the tools. They use it spear hunting. Even Mahare, they use the spear hunting for squirrel. Uh, and then, uh, but uh, this is well known from the Fangoli chimpanzees because there's their forest is weak, and then they are hunting a lot of these uh, uh, bush baby for spear hunting. Yeah. So Mika, we're getting a couple of questions sort of about the logistics of, of chimp trekking in the chat. So you sort of go through a, a typical day as far as, you know, guests coming down to breakfast and, and the trackers being up in the mountains looking for the chimps, kind of what happens? Um, and so what are, what are the um, results of a day of chimp trekking? Uh, normally, normally when the guests are arriving, because a Mahale, as I said, is really special, um, is really special. Uh, because uh, there is no car into the national park. It's only to get there is by plane to the airstrip and a boat trip for one hour and a half to the camp. And then after that, you have, if you're interested to go swimming from the deep water, not along the shore, and then also oh, bushwalking on that day not for the chimp trekking when you're arriving there. And then uh, we're waiting for the next day. They will give you a briefing before. Uh, on that day you're arriving, it will give you a briefing, all instruction, how you should appear, how you should not do, and then uh, to prepare you. Otherwise, you're running for nothing when they're showing up because they puff up their fur uh, they're looking twice the normal body size. So, so for, for us to give you briefing and then all the rules in order for them to protect the chimpanzees and also for your own safety also. Um, so uh, normally we send a tracker, they're going early in the morning to go to search where there is chimpanzees. And then once they're finding them, they radio back to the guide and then after that, we're coming from the breakfast table to update all the guests, say, that, okay, the chimpanzees have been located by the tracker. So we'll give you approximately time. If they'll be on the mountains, we'll tell you, okay, it's three hours walking. If they will be on a low area, we'll tell you this can be an hour or half an hour. And then the terrain can be like this, although, they are mobile. The chimpanzees, they are mobile. They can move. So if they move, the tracker, they will give, they will updating us. Okay, now they're moving this direction and then they're taking this path and then you encounter with the chimpanzees. Yeah. So normally, normally is in the morning. Sometimes they pray hard and then we do go afternoon. Yeah. And we got for, um, for people who haven't been yet, will you kind of talk about the seasons, maybe the, the times of year that they're higher on the mountain versus lower and what affects sort of where they are and when? Um, normally June, July and August, mid-August, oh, I can say all August, but mid-August. So June, July and August, uh, they will be on the mountains because there is a food occur on the mountains. Uh, it's called Cantiam Burgale. This is a wild coffee and then also they hunting a lot because those uh, berries they are not make them to be really strong because it's like someone chewing the gum and it's spit wadi so they're, they're always like that so they chewing they swallow their their, uh, their saliva uh, sometimes they swallow even the seed but uh, it's not really um, like a protein fruit so they do hunting because to get a protein to keep going because they are in a big group. Without being group, they're not hunting. Yeah. So in the end of August to January, they will be on a low area. But this is a depending of the year. Is a depending of the year. Some of the year, because for example, three years ago, uh, they found the water berries they're calling zizigium. So this is a water berry. 
we have our three type of the water berries in Mahale. So uh, they didn't eat those for nine years because those fruits, they didn't pro uh, pro uh, produce a lot of, uh, those trees, they didn't produce a lot of fruits. So they found on the three years ago, all the chimpanzee they were so excited to having the zygium, this is water berries, they went on the mountains again on October. They back to the low area on February. Yeah. Okay. Mika, what would you tell someone who's you know really excited and interested in the experience, but not sure about their own fitness levels, you know, about going um, and having to face a three-hour walk? Do you get people who are who are you know who have a, have a tougher time of walking, but are still able to see the chimps? Is there a better time of year, a best month for that? Um, if they are, uh, if there is the uh, guest who not uh, fit enough, um, normally we have a three trackers. So two, they can be on the mountains. One can search the chimpanzees on a low area which is uh, not all of them, they can go on the mountains. So some of them, they will be on a low area, like a couple of female. So once they get those, a couple of female on a low area, even one male, and then we do take them to, to see. And then normally we do, do our best. We are three guide, and then we can divide the guest for three groups. It, although it's a 12 guests, uh, six guests are permitted to be on one group, but uh, we do spread out them. For the faster, they can go faster, and a little bit faster can go next, and then uh, lower, slower, we can go slower until you get to the chimpanzees. Yeah. So what is, what this is, is how, of, of the mountains, how high are you going on those longest trips? Uh, um, on the June, July, we do go um, 1,500 uh, meters from above the sea level. Okay. Yeah, sometimes. But uh, mostly is a 1,200. Yeah. Sometimes they're coming down for a couple of hours and then they're back. So, yeah. Mika, I've heard stories of the, the chimps actually being in camp also. Do you, do you have any funny stories about, you know, kind of chimps, you know, going into guest rooms or what are some of the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know... <laughs> Teddy, he been doing that. Teddy and uh, Ichiro, but the fun things when they come to the camp, you know, there is a floor, timber floor there. So mm -hmm. they like to bang there. The sound will be like a pow, 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 pow. So for them, they are so happy. It's like someone hitting the drum. So that's so happy. They can continue us to do that, to do that again and again and again and again. So uh, we enjoy, even them, they enjoy when they do that. Yeah. So sometimes they go into the room, but uh, that is like a to observe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, not often, honestly, not often. So you can see them, they go, if you, if we, uh, they, they, they left uh, without, cover that uh, canvas, they can go through and then it's checking and then go out. They didn't spend much time there. So they can be like a rush hour. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liga, Jen Gervy is asking, have you noticed new or different behaviors um, in the chimps now that tourism has stopped or are they still up to their same, same behaviors? Um, mostly is our uh, same behavior. And then I, I was surprised, uh, I was last year. So we can see how they are clever and smart enough. Uh, Michio went here into the room number 
was a number six. I, I and my manager, Barbara, we went in there. We found Michio. He sat behind of, the, of that area, <clears throat> um, behind of the bed. And then he was looking around. And then we were so surprised. That we <laughs> said, why, Michio, what? what are you looking? And then he took out the pose, one pose, because there are some posy on the house. He took out and then he go out. And then he put beside of the table. So this is really uh, gorgeous behavior because I never seen that before. And then I was like, wow. He knew he's gonna pass through here. That's why he taking out this and then he putting very gentle aside. Mean that you guys, you fix later and then I'm gonna go out. <laughs> So that is a behavior I saw. I was so surprised. Yeah. Has Primus come back to the community since getting kicked out? Um, or is he still in? Yes. You mentioned yes. something. Yes. Yeah. So he do come back, but uh, he feels stressed because, you know, like a human, you can see even the place he sits, you can see he's fully stressed. Because he'd been president of Alphabet, so, and then they kick him out. And then uh, you can see even the uh, Ichiro is a young boy. He tried to show him off in front of him, and then he's screaming, he's submissive with Ichiro. So he do go out and then come back, go out after the uh, men community, and then he come back, it's like that. So they didn't, they didn't beating him badly or they didn't do like a Fanana because a Fanana, he was really dictator, uh, like a Pim. I don't like to talking about Pim now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, 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 Fanana, because uh, he was using a teeth a lot to biting others. And then the female, they were really hating him. And then uh, they kicking out when Alofu took over from him. And then once he tried to come back to the main community, the female started screaming like they saw leopard. Uh, and then the male went there, they beating him. So mean that they chased him away from the main group. On that, uh, on that time, Alofi, he was alpha male. Uh, they welcome back when uh, Pim, his friend, when he taking over from Alofi. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think someone is asking, are there any predators that the chimps have to worry about? What is their biggest big, predator? biggest predator is human. Yeah. That's why we wear a surgical mask. So surgical mask, we provide that, uh, the guests, all the guests before we, we go to the chimp trekking, uh, in order to protect it because our fruit tie, when it is the chimpanzee get the our flu, they suffer. They suffer, and then some of them, they die. Like in 2006, 13 chimpanzees died from an outbreak from the human being. So that's why we wear a surgical mask. So now the surgical mask is work, and then uh, it's increasing. And then another predator is a leopard but not a huge predator because mahale chimpanzee are so brave compared with others places yeah because uh, they chase we have a snakes like a python and then also a leopard we have in mahale so i've been seeing that uh, several times the chimpanzee chasing a leopard away and then uh, this happens also four years ago the leopard caught blue diker uh, like a 70 meter away from the chimpanzee they were and because the chimpanzee they have, they've they have been got very good on eyesight and the sense of the smelling and the even hearing they're better so they hear and then they saw through the bush they saw a leopard with the carcass of that uh, uh, blue, ta blue diker and then all the male wake up went to chase a leopard and then they stole in that carcass because it was fresh. Without fresh, they're not eating. Even they found a dead body of the monkey or even the 
uh, antelope for two days, they're not eating. So they like it smelling and then they leave it. But a fresh one, they saw someone kill it, they will go to steal it. Yeah. Um, Christina is asking, is there a, a veterinary team to provide treatment if a chimp is injured or do they not intercede at all? There is. Although Mahale, they left them to, to treat themselves, but there is a team of doctor. So they are basic in Kigoma town in Tawiri. And then once there is a, 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 like a problem like that, uh, like for example, three, two years ago in February, yeah, in February, one of the female uh, Kanato broke her pelvis uh, pelvis and then she couldn't walk and then her daughter um, I'm going to try to be strong because uh, this story is making me to be crying a little bit because I saw that but I, I will try um, um, the baby Kinoko she was trying to help her mother to walk she was putting her her mother um, around her neck and then she walk with her mama but uh, she was not strong enough she fell down she tries several times and then she, her mama doesn't um, she, her doesn't uh, climbing on trees doesn't walk she walk like a two step she follow down and then uh, Kinoko she decided is to sleep with her mother on the ground she rescued her mother because when she saw something predator like a leopard or bush pig, she was shouting, 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 and then they're running away because they're very loud. And then uh, we send a message to the Tanapa. Tanapa is Tanzania National Park, and then official. And then we send a message, and then they send a message to the uh, those of veterinaries. Uh, Dr. Edie came with his, his team and then we tried to rescue her and then I was part on, on that and then I would try to rescue her but uh, she, uh, Dr. Edie asked me because she touched her on her tummy uh, and then uh, she discovered something like a heart and then she asked me like uh, he asked me like we got, she was in heat couple of weeks ago, I said, yes, Kanato, she was in heat a couple, uh, couple of uh, weeks ago. That's why probably she got a pregnancy, but it was not. It was internal breathing. And then she died after one week and three days. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So, yeah, there is, there is a, yeah, there is a, there is we a veterinary. For some who have who have also gone and, and trekked gorillas, what are some of the, the major differences between chimp and gorilla behavior, if you if you know? Um, the difference is uh, the all they're walking by knuckle. Mm. And then a slight of this behavior is a slight similar. But uh, mountain gorillas are pure vegetarian. That is a huge difference. Okay. And then uh, chimpanzees, common chimpanzees, they are omnivores. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know how the experience would be different as far as, you know, kind of watching, watching gorillas versus watching chimpanzees? Is it, is, is it different enough for someone to be excited about doing both activities? Uh, it's better because to do those both uh, to get both gorilla trekking and chimpanzees. Um, for me, because I've been done both, I've been in, in Congo for the guiding exchange with my team, oh my Butati and, uh, and, uh, uh, <clears throat> and Matthias. So we went to Congo in Virunga. We've been invited with a Kate, Cameron, uh, Kate Malone and Cameron. They were previous managers to our camp. A dress talk, and then after that they apply the job when the contract is finished to 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 Congo in Virunga, and then uh, they they saw how our fellow guide they guiding there, so they will really ask us to 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 
to share our knowledge with them and then to have their experience also. So we went there, we get charged by the silverback. Excuse me, I'm gonna muting this phone because this. <laughs> Popular guy today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, we get charged by the silverback, it's really huge. Uh, and then uh, we submissive him. Our guide talk with him, like to please him, hey, we are fine, we are fine. So that is, was a really high experience for me because everybody, we, we end up, we end up to, uh, we end up to, we end up to, uh, to taking video for our feet because the guy is, <laughs> is really big. Is <laughs> really big. And then uh, the young one, they, they play, but they are not much active like a chimpanzees. They don't have a huge experience. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, like a, like a politician's like a chimpanzees, because the chimpanzees, these common chimpanzees, they are very manipulated. There is a Judas inside, and then you can see how they asking everybody, uh, each other to help each other. Like, guys, <laughs> we guys beating me, so come, come help me. I mean, we want to meet him, so you can see the whole those things. It's like us. Definitely, it's like us. Yeah, some of them like. Uh, it, he can bring someone into the trouble without, without, for nothing. For example, Kalunde, he was really good Judas. So <laughs> if he hit you, he will, he will pretend like he's a really good friend of you, grooming you. Suddenly he started screaming, go to the alpha male or higher, high rank male who are stronger than you, collect him. And then they're coming to beating you because he's hating you. So you see, gorilla, they don't have that thing. Yeah. Does anyone else have any, any other questions? I think there are a lot of questions just about, and we'll send more an email with more details about like the chimp, you know, the weather, the viewing, we'll summarize all that. Um, so I know there are a few questions about the DNA. Um, I, I see Nadia has been answering them. Um, so unless I think. Well, my, uh, my colleague Emily has asked you to do some chimp impersonation. I know that's one of your specialties. So we don't yeah, know. Really <laughs> share. Guys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Plus, yeah, Come again. Let's start again, Mom. <laughs> let's let's make sure to mute. Oops. Okay, I thought everyone was on mute, but always the technique. Okay. All right, Liga. Show us what you got. Oh, so if, so we're gonna do two things. Liga, you're gonna yes. make in person. <laughs> You can impersonate some of your uh, of your favorites, and then we'll put one more photo of Grace Dope so you can remember how beautiful it is. Oh yeah. Okay, so um, probably the chimp impression I can do at last. So uh, uh, if there's a more question, you can ask, and then I'll answer, and then I will do the chimp impression. Okay. <laughs> Crazy wig. Okay. Oops. Go ahead, Mwiga. So, do you have a, a more question? And um, no, I think that's. I think we basically wrapped wrapped up. Um, and just letting everyone know that that we're going to send out the sort of the the basics about visiting Greystoke and kind of how to get there, the seasons, the weather all of that so that everyone knows sort of how to plan their journeys. And just one, one quick last reminder that um, we have uh, that the next in our series is coming up on Friday at noon um, with Beverly and, and Derek Joubert of, of Great Plains. So please tune in for that as well. But um, <laughs> I'm dying to see this impression. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. So, um, um, and then also, let me, um, because you see, uh, you ask me before I do this, is chimpanzee expression. Um, you ask me about a new experience I've been seeing. This happens um, also last year in February uh, was uh, Kozima. Was a one little, little chimpanzee, her name is Jura. Um, she was poking her because Kozima, she was sitting down with her jacket around her waist. The jacket outside was black. And then Jura, she was so excited. She came, tried to intimidate her, and then I told him, Kozima, just Kozima, stay still. And then she came very close to her, like within like a half meter. She was trying to observing her, like looking her. And then about Kozima, she was like worried a little bit. And then she turns her face and then uh, she do eye contact because she, she was very close to her. And then she, uh, Jura running away a little bit, like two meters away. And then sat again, looking Kozima. And then she came more closer. She started to poking her on her back, like and sniffing her, like what kind of chimpanzee you are. And then touching that jacket, because the jacket was black. What kind of these four chimpanzee are sniffing on the jacket? And then they're poking her again. And then after that, she invited Kozima. Uh, Jura invited Kozima to play with. But unfortunately, Kozima, she didn't have a portable thumb like them. She couldn't grab it on trees. <laughs> she couldn't grab it on trees like them. And then also, we don't permit it to, uh, to, to copy their style. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> All right, um, I can talk in chimps. Um, I can do baby call if the baby asks the mama to come to picking up her because we are human observer around and then she afraid of us or he afraid of us. And then there is a hoot. So do you want to hear both or do you want to hear? <laughs> Sure, give us, give us both. <laughs> All right, uh, let me start with the baby. The baby sound coming from here. So they were starting low voices. If the mama couldn't hear, they were increasing the sound like a screaming in order for the mama to come quickly to pick him or her up. So. They start like <laughs> just like my toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my my throat today is not good. Um, <laughs> that was wonderful. Yeah, and then yeah, and then a hoot, hoot can be a really loud sound, and then also um, <clears throat> hoot can be guys, where are you? And then he listen, and then everybody respond. We are here, we are here, and then because they know individual sound. And then after that, he can say, ah, I decided to follow Alofu, or I decided to follow Primus, it's like that. And then a hoot can be, uh, guys, there is a plant food here, come to share. And then uh, at the end of the hoot, they do like a screaming, and then uh, you can see they shake even their head. If there is a food on the mouth, they are, I can do. Um, and then I will explain. And then there is a walk call, Walk call is like something is not right. Like if they're fighting uh, among themselves and then uh, others, they want to invite the other 
male or female to come to stop, to join with them to stop that quarrel, they do work out. If they do, they see leopard or snakes, they do work out to alert others. Guys, guys, our enemy is here. Yeah. And uh, laughing sound. The baby, they do laughing like that. Or even adults, they do laughing, although it's not often to see that um, um, behavior, the adult playing. So I'm going to do both. I will mix. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mixed uh, the sound like a hoo, 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 and then at the end I do like <laughs> that is a food call. If someone uh, hear that sound, he's uh, like uh, three miles away or four miles away, give him like 10 minutes. He will come, he will go in that area, he's been invited for food. And then uh, I do also, ooh, 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 that is uh, um, wako. So wako, if there is something not right, you can hear that sound. Ooh, 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 that is a wako, there's something is not right. And then also I do um, uh, laughing. <laughs> You can see there, <laughs> they go recycle, tickling each other. <laughs> laughing I, think, I think for our next EJ staff call, we're all going to have to stop <laughs> <laughs> until we do a chimp impersonation. That's going to be the new rule. Yeah. And then also, um, I do submissive. <laughs> And you, Mwiga, and you, do they respond to you if you say these? Like, if you make these sounds, will they respond to you? De de definitely, because <laughs> I, I was feeling, I was feel bad, honesty. I was really feeling bad that day I did. I was with uh, uh, Anita, uh, Anita, and then also uh, Donna from the Maasai Wandering. So we were doing bushwalk. We went in south side of our camp. So we crossed the, the cro we crossed the river calling Ruburungu, and then I found chimpanzees uh, knuckle and a chimpanzees poop. And then I told her there was a chimpanzee pass through here. So first step I found is like a whole group there on that area. So we follow that track. We couldn't find anyone. So we get to the junction. And then I thought it's Anita or Donna from Maasai Wandering. And then she, she asked me, what kind of the sound of the chimpanzees? And then I, I didn't realize they would be very close to us. So I did, I mixed the sound. And then all of them, they responded. They were 100 meters away from us. And then the Kalunda on that time, he was still alive. And then they came toward us. And then the Kalunda stopped. Oh, sorry. 
the electricity is gone. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, and then uh, 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 we then, uh, 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 yes, <laughs> um, the, the, uh, elect <laughs> so uh, hold on a little bit. Yeah, can you see me? <laughs> yes, it's campfire <laughs> story time now. <laughs> okay, um, and then uh, Kalunde came very close to me. And then he was looking at us, and then I told the guy that we go back because it's the 10 meters distance. And then we come back, uh, we, we, we back. And then uh, Kalunde move again toward us. And then Primus, they are lawful. And then the other female that was around them. So, mean that uh, I was feel bad because when I've been habituated them, they were providing them food, um, sugar cane, and banana. So, they were do chimp impression to invite them to come to eat sometime they hit the drum and then uh i knew i knew kalunde he asking for the food so i was feel bad since then i don't like to do that into the jungle so i we do make a sound a chimpanzee sound uh impression in, around the camp there if they will be like uh, five meters away because they're very good in hearing, sometimes they're coming, they're coming to the camp early in the morning. This <laughs> happens also last year. <laughs> they come into the camp to see who's inviting us, who's needing help. Because when we mix that sound, the work call, and then the food call, they come to, to, to come to see or to be like, hey, you guys, you've been invited out. So we come here to see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Muiga, for the, the wonderful impersonations. I know a, a couple of people have mentioned in the chat that have brought back so many good memories of being at, at Greystoke and seeing those chimps. So thank you so much okay. for taking, taking the time today um, to be with us. It's, it, it means a lot. So, okay, like, thank you very much for extraordinarily uh, Johnny, and then uh, thank you for all guests who are uh, <clears throat> participate uh, on this event. And I'm going to do a little. So I'm so happy. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So I'm very happy, and then uh, because without you guys, the Mahale it will be not like that. Because the clients who are coming to visit in Greystoke or, or Mahale in general because your money is going to conservation for the park ranger uh, uh, to, to, co to, to continue us to protect the chimpanzees. So thank you very much for everyone <laughs> who be in this event tonight. And then thank you extraordinarily, uh, Johnny, for, uh, for setting this. You are awesome. I really enjoy that. Well, we can't wait to send you some more guests. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll get some some EJ friends out to you as soon as we can. And uh, and I put a little. Did you say bye, Mwiga, or something? Yeah, bye, bye, Mwiga. And then a uh, special mention. I see a lot of the Nature Conservancy people join the call, and the Nature Conservancy also does a lot of work out there. So we yes. Tell them Liz says hi. Oh yes. Yes, thank you very thank much you. because uh, I know Jimmy, Desmond, and then, um, I forget their names. So <laughs> they've been, they done, yeah, they done a lot of job. Guys, Nature Conservance, I really appreciate you guys, yeah. you're doing well. Uh, because see how you protect the lecture and in order for the people don't fishing along the shore that is the breeding area for the for the chimpanzee which is really really work uh, so i really appreciate what you do nature conservants yeah so on that have everyone have an amazing weekend thank you for joining and we gotta have an amazing weekend as well
And thank you again. Thank you. Bye, yes. Mwiga. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You are most welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Very enjoyable. Thank you, thank you very much. And meeting for all.